All right, uh, guys. Um, I don't make this video lightly. Uh, this is something I need to get off my chest, and I've just found out about it. It happened a few weeks, uh, quite a few weeks ago, about three weeks ago now, to a, uh, a YouTuber, a quite a fairly big, uh, quite big, uh, very big YouTuber, I should say. Um, uh, JC Batfire. Um, you may remember he announced and had uh, Jason Mundell from Triarch on his channel to announce Zombie Chronicles uh, uh, two years ago. And for some reason, some arrogant little fuck decided to call, call the police department or the sheriff's department, pretend to be JC, and pretend that he wanted to kill himself and his family. He was suicidal. And the police responded, or the sheriff's department responded, in full force, which is known as swatting. And I have to say that I watched his video um, of JC talking in a very raw, very emotional, very heartfelt, very a, a very pleading video to whoever done this to not even to him they they they've swatted his family the police raided his family's home thank god no one was hurt but he said it he hits a nail on the head when he says it in the video that this is not a joke this is not a joke these are people's lives that you're messing with and what arrogant little fuck decided it would be a good idea to ring up the sheriff's department posing as jc and lie and say i want to be i'm suicidal and i want to kill myself knowing knowing in their mind or should know in their mind that the police in america have had incidents throughout a number of the last few years where they've shot innocent people met people of color uh innocent people people who are trying to follow instructions that don't do it properly and, and one little wrong move and they shoot them dead a 12 year old child walking through a park has a toy gun some guy panics the police turn up 12 seconds after or not even that less than 10 seconds they shoot a 12 year old child dead they don't tend to get on the floor they don't look at him and say put the gun down no they shoot him shoot first ask questions later a dead man can tell no tales a dead man can say nothing and i am so glad i'm relieved and I, I found this out late i know but i had to do a bit i had to do something on this and i also heard from another guy i just watched and this particular guy was on BBC News. It was a year ago, uh, and it was a guy called Andrew Finch. And some little shit rang up and pretended to be him and said, I'm pointing a gun at my sister and at my mother and brother. They're hiding in the closet. I shot my dad in the head. I poured gasoline all over the fucking house. And I want to set fire. And what do the police do? They turn up in full force. Which is only the police doing their job. And I will say that. They're only doing their job. They have to respond in a situation like that. They have to respond in that. But as much as they should respond in that kind of format... They shoot an unarmed man, a father of two, who is innocently playing Call of Duty. And this thing is called swatting. It's not a joke. It's not funny. People have died. People have got hurt. People have even been robbed after they've been arrested or put in handcuffs. People have come in their fucking flats, or not necessarily been swatted, but had the police round because some idiot wants to call the police and say, this person is doing this, this person's doing that. Go and raid their house. People in England have had it. Police have turned up. 
on the doorstep with a guy streaming, doing something as innocent as streaming, as innocent as streaming. And the police turn up and they shoot this unarmed man, this father of two, they shoot him dead. He was taken to hospital and pronounced dead. And the, and people have been prosecuted, people have been put in prison or jail for this type of thing. But the police are responding to a hoax call. And instead of looking into it or doing things a little bit different, you don't have to shoot someone. You don't have to shoot them dead where they stand. And then you think, and then you say, oh yeah, it was a hoax. You know, you know about swatting, you know it happens, and yet you still respond in full force. What? Why don't the police in America ever bring out their things called tasers? They have a taser. They can have a taser out, like the UK police do, if you've got a person who is being threatening, a person with a knife in Luton a couple of years ago, was he shot? No! He was tased and put in handcuffs! He was tased! Not shot! Tased! <laughs> it's, it just blows my mind that these people think this is a joke and the Andrew Finch's was a, it was a wager, a two dollar fucking wager about whether or not you're going to do it or not. And for some reason, this stupid, arrogant little shit decides to ring up, pretend to be this person, fake a call, fake a situation, potentially, and has done, cause a death. You're an, you're an accessory to murder. The police shoot this person. A... And all the, all the police say is it was a wrongful shooting. There's no consequences. If the police respond to swatting and there is a death, the police should be held accountable. If it's a wrongful death, if you take a life, that life is gone. Gone. And you go home that night knowing in your mind that you took a father of two away from his children. And now prevented a father watching his children grow up. And with the case of JC Batfire, he lives hours away from his family, hours away. And they raided his mum and stepdad's house. Thank God no one was hurt. But it could have been a lot worse. A hell of a lot worse. And all JC was doing was watching Call of Duty. That's all he was doing. He wasn't doing anything else. He wasn't being aggressive. He wasn't doing anything, any harm. He was doing nothing like that. He was simply playing Call of Duty on the new map on Zombies. Trying to do the Easter egg. Doing what he does best. Doing what he loves. Doing his passion. Doing his absolute total dedication to everything. Which is playing games. These are what the these big YouTubers you get their their some idiot leaks their address and then some other idiot thinks I think what would be a really good joke. Let's call the police and pretend they're suicidal or they or they got a gun or they've shot their family and let's send the police round and it, oh it's all a joke to us. We can all laugh about it afterwards and think oh, yeah what a great joke. No, it's not a joke. And to the person who done it, you're a fucking moron. You are an idiot. You are a fucking stupid little dumbass with no morals or no anything going for your life where you have to ring up the sheriff's department because you're bored and you want to do swatting on a YouTuber. I don't know if it's because you're small and you're jealous of the fact these big YouTubers are big and they're bigger than you. Yes, I'm a small YouTube channel. I know there are bigger channels than me. I also feel, this is just my opinion, it's nothing against the big YouTubers, 
But I also feel that the big YouTubers are in their own class and they don't really talk to the, the smaller channels. You don't really see a lot of bigger channels helping out the smaller channels. Giving us a bit of a, you know, a bit of a, you know, a, a shout out or, you know, you know, they might speak to you if you if you say hi on a stream, but they're not going to, they're not going to promote your channel. They have many subscribers who would want them to do that. If they did that for one person, they'd have to do it for everyone. You know, all these people that you do this to are real breathing people. And in the worst case scenario, a person dies get shot a father of two and JC lives hours and hours and hours and hours away from his parents powerless to do anything and I think he said he would rather have it been him that had been swatted because he would know what to expect and he's right in a sense you would know what to expect because you know it's been done before this particular one of Andrew Finch was on BBC News, like I said earlier. And this poor man, you know, and this hoax caller. And I know the person who done it, I believe they've been called and they've been dealt with. And, and rightly so. There should be a jail sentence for these people. They should go to jail for five years plus. Five years minimum. Five years. Prison. Jail. Where you can think about every single day, and I hope the judge will tell you this, every single day, I want you to sit in your cell when you're not out in the courtyard. And I want you to think about that person who you got shot. Because you thought it would be a great thing to ring up the police department or the sheriff's department and play God for someone's family. And you thought it would be a joke. And the thing that angers me the most is that this thing, these are, are done a lot of the time. And I feel so bad for JC. And I wish him all the best. Uh, I hope you're cool, bro. Um, my thoughts and prayers and all my love goes out to you, man. And your family. And, um, yeah. I just, I can't believe someone will do this to you. And in this video, oh my God, is it, is it, it's raw and emotional. JC is, he's absolutely mortified. He's, you know distraught, upset. You can see it in his face. You can see it in his face. He was absolutely terrified of what are the possibilities of the outcome that could have happened. And thank God it didn't. But it could have been a lot differently. And luckily the police departments now are starting to man up and realise that people do make fake calls. But unfortunately, they can't tell the difference between the fake and the good and the and the real calls. You should be able to ask simple questions that determine whether or not the call is proper or not. Or even, you know, if the call gets cut the call gets cut off, if you're not sure about it, let someone else listen to it. Does it sound real? Could it be swatting? Check the address. Has it been done before? But no. What the police do is respond in full force, like they should do. But they end that by shooting a father of two dead. And that exact same thing could have happened to JC. And I'm just so glad and relieved and thankful that it didn't. That's all I've got. That's all I'm going to say now, guys. Um, I've said my piece. Uh, I know it's late and I don't want to bring it up back up. But, you know, it, it's an ongoing thing. And I would I would ask anyone, please, please just make a video about this type of thing so we can all 
in the small community of YouTubes, of YouTuber channels. Just get this information out there and let people make people aware, make make, make people known that this is not a joke. It's not funny. It's not funny. It's serious. You're playing God with people's lives. Please, please don't do it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not. 